Split monograms have become really popular, but I've noticed that some people are splitting the letters using a technique that is leaving them distorted. This is something that I think some customers might not appreciate, might return the product. So I'm going to show you how this issue occurs and the technique that I use to avoid it. It would appear that a lot of people are splitting letters by using the traditional technique of drawing a line through the letter, selecting both objects, and doing a subtract. Obviously this works just fine. You do wind up with two separate pieces of the letter with a nice split in the middle. The problem though is that some letters no longer align properly when you split a letter this way. And this visual disconnect can be really significant in certain letters. The way that I avoid this is by using the same technique but a slight variation. The first thing that I do is I elongate my letter a little bit. This is absolutely an optional step, a matter of preference, but I like the top and the bottom of my resulting product to still be substantial. And that helps out with that. Then I do draw my rectangle, but I draw it the height that I want the split to be, and I make sure that it is placed on the letter where I want the split to occur. Now when I do the same modify subtract, not only do I wind up with a perfect split, but the lines of the letter still align, and it results in a much nicer end product. I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions about this video or about any other technique, please don't hesitate to email youtube at scrapconcepts.com and we'll be more than happy to try to help.